far for the you watching. Dante's 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 When you hear, because I hear reports of Bob Arum saying the winner of this fight is going to fight against Manny Pacquiao or, I mean, or Manny Pacquiao is going to either fight the winner of this fight or Jesse Vargas, but Michael Kantz, he said that they never even, he was never on the radar and that right. shocked people when he said that because right. right. we were under the impression that he was an option and they're telling us he was never an option, so. Yeah, you know what, I was under the impression, man. I was told that we had to fucking fight, man. Mm -hmm. I was told that I, they had me putting shit on paper what, what I needed for camp and what I needed to do to make camp happen. And next thing come out is he picked Tim Bradley and we wasn't marketable and oh, all right, fuck you then, shit. You know what I'm saying? So let's move on. Yeah, you know? yeah. Uh -huh. So, but now they're saying it, I mean, Terrence want to fire him, let's go. It's up to me, fuck him. He had his chance. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? He had his chance. Right. Yeah. You think, uh, he would pick Jesse Vargas. Do you think he's looking at Jesse Vargas as an easier opponent than a Terrence Crawford if he picks Jesse Vargas next? Well, if he picked Jesse Vargas, I think he might pick him just because of, uh, you know, Mexican fans, they come out. Could be the dollar sign behind the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And then, I'm not saying Jesse Vargas is easy. He might want to just go out with a win, you know, keep winning and stack his chips and shit like that, you know. Terrence is dangerous, man. He's dangerous for anybody. Mm -hmm. 147 on down. Mm. So if I had if I if I was gonna take a fight in one of my save my last fight, I wouldn't take a dangerous fight like that. So. that that's a dangerous one. Yeah. That, that's a dangerous one. But again, all speculation. You know uh -huh, what I'm saying? Uh-huh. You gotta we see when they, when they get in the ring though, right? Like right. we're gonna see this weekend. So now, I mean, you are aware that this fight this weekend, this is like, at least outside of War Kovalev, this is the most significant fight of the year. Like, you know, one of the biggest ones. You know what? We was coming in on an elevator to, uh, yesterday in the airport and just riding the, riding the Escalade. And I turned back, I see the other lights and turned back and looked at the terrace. I said, you know what? It finally hit me, man. We got one of the biggest fights of the year. You know what I'm saying? But it, I'm glad it did. I did that. I'm glad it hit me like that because the whole time I never thought about it because uh -huh. we just steadily grinding. Yeah, yeah. We, we working, yeah, you yeah. know. We getting our work in and we making sure when this time comes, we ready for it. Uh -huh. We ain't got no excuses.